What will $11 million buy you? In Loudoun County, Virginia, it's buying gender-neutral bathrooms in two high schools this fall. That's right, sex-specific bathrooms are a thing of the past for some high schoolers in Loudoun County. Our next guest says parents should be alarmed. Juliana Sweeney is a Young Voices commentator and a Loudoun County teacher. Okay, Juliana, why should parents be alarmed about these gender-neutral bathrooms? Well, you said it very well. This is not only an expensive problem at $11 million, but this is also a problem of privacy and the principle in and of itself. So let's talk a little bit about the price. So Loudoun County is known for being a wealthy county for sure, but there are only two bathroom facilities that are being renovated. Uh, there are about 16 high schools, not to mention the dozens of middle schools and elementary schools that would also be renovated if they follow through with the pilot program. Uh, and so this would be a multi-million dollar project across the county. And then second and most importantly, uh, two most importantly things is first the privacy issue. So the bathrooms are a floor to ceiling stall instead of partition stalls. Uh, and so there is supposedly complete privacy in gender neutral spaces. Now, that being said, LCPS and the D.C. metro area in general already has problems with uh, drug abuse and sexual abuse occurring in bathrooms. And so there is a concern with this supposed privacy that the problems would be exasperated. And then finally is the principle in and of itself. We continue to get rid of women's spaces at the expense of their safety uh, in some cases, there are 13 and 14 year old girls who would be sharing bathrooms with 18, 19 and perhaps even 20 year old men. And so this is at a steep cost, not only the price, but also for the student's safety. How about gyms and locker rooms, Juliana? The same policy there? Yeah, it looks like the, the high schools are also eventually going to implement the same policies with the locker rooms. That being said, we do have a great governor in Virginia who is looking out for parental rights and also the privacy rights for girls, but I do worry that the policies will continue to be implemented in the locker rooms and other spaces as well. And, and I must remind our viewers, this is the school district that was accused of covering up the sexual assault of two girls by the same male student at two separate Loudoun County high schools. And the father of one of those victims was arrested for disorderly conduct at a county school board meeting. Remember that one. So, Juliana, didn't the school district want to make a fresh start they have hired the former superintendent of schools here in Virginia Beach, Dr. Aaron Spence, and he's starting his new job as superintendent of Loudoun County Schools next month. So what difference do you expect he'll make on this? You know, it's hard to say because the head of schools have not spoken out on this issue. They've just continued to say we are going to follow through with this policy, uh, even though parents are speaking out against the bathroom policies and the construction of the high schools. But we're not sure what it's going to look like after this school year. So the pilot program is being constructed in those two high schools, as you mentioned, and will open, it looks like, in the fall or the winter. And the county continues to say that they're going to follow through with their plans. So it's full steam ahead. So what should be done then? Might more parents risk being labeled terrorists for expressing their concerns at school board meetings? I do think that's part of it. The parents need to be willing to go to the school board meetings, to meet with the governor, to meet with teachers and administrators and make their voices known. But even more than that, I'm advocating for parents to consider alternatives, to consider Christian schools. Um, there's a brand new Christian school opening up in Loudoun County this year. That's K-8. And so these options continue to open up to be the alternative to the public school system. And as we take students out of the public schools, hopefully they will be trained under the values of Christian schools and they will be kept safe in a way that is just not possible in the public schools. I think mo most uh, parents would just say have a separate bathroom for transgender students. If you have that many in the school, just have one for them. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. And the funny thing is, is they already have separate spaces for transgender students, but that has also come at the expense of staff and teachers not having their own separate bathrooms or not as many separate bathrooms. Um, and so it seems that they are kneeling to the transgender students, the minority, at least for now, a small minority, um, again, at the expense of student safety.
Okay, we'll see where all this leads. Loudoun County School, Virginia school teacher, Young Voices commentator, Juliana Sweeney. Thank you, Juliana, for sharing your insights. We appreciate it. Thank you.